the key to success and really a way to ensure that your day runs smooth is having a clean, organized workspace setup. And this includes your table, your cart, in your entire room. I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through on how we set up our carts in our room at Lashford Studios. So here's where we keep our disposables. These consist of mascara brushes, and then we have other lip brushes to do lash lifts, and we apply the glue with those. Um, here we have more disposables, block foot applicators, microtip swabs. Those are all good for either priming, assisting with cleansing, gel pad adjustments. We have our hygrometer on the top. We have gel pads in the top drawer. So in here we have tape, adhesive platforms. We have our lash lift products in here. We have our shields, priming, solution, Y-tip tools, etc. In here we have some four by four cotton swabs. We actually use those to cover our client's forehead so you don't have direct skin to skin contact when you're applying the lashes. It's a far more comfortable experience for them. Highly recommend these. Also tissues are an option. We have pens, just in case you need to take any notes. And then we have on the bottom, we have our sanitized tools ready to go. So our tweezers, mini scissors, things of that sort. Some other additional items you'll need on hand is a, a fan. Fan is always great to dry the lashes after the cleansing process. And sometimes people use it at the end of the service before the nano misting happens. So here's our nano mister. You always wanna keep it charged and ready to go, full with water. Just at the end of the day, you wanna empty the tank and not leave the water sitting overnight. We have our lash mirror to check if the eyes are um, popping open during application and also to check the symmetry of your work. Next, we have our cleanser. We have our sanitized cleansing brushes in there. We keep those covered. This is a rinse bottle option. It's actually the bottle that comes with the Nano Mister. We have our Lash Nap Relaxing Spray that is perfect for every client before they start their service. It's great to have alcohol just in case you quickly need to sanitize your hands. We have our Lash Serum. We always finish our clients' appointments with that. And then we have Barrier Cream for our sensitive clients. It can be helpful to keep a notebook on hand just in case you need to keep any client notes before adding them into your system. Always your mag glasses you need to see. And then I'm gonna take you down to the bottom cart. These are our clean towels we use during the cleansing process. And these can also be used to put under your client's head as a barrier between the pillow and or the bed surface. Then we have our rinse bottle. We prefer this bottle because you can keep a little bit more water and I like this unique curved neck. Here is our consultation book. This should be used during your consultations. This is helpful for clients. Most people are visual, so this can just be a tool to help them understand as you're explaining certain lengths and thicknesses of the lashes. So now let's talk about the rest of the room. So here we have the massage table. We recommend using massage tables over recliners due to the fact that the recliners can shift during the appointment. And when you're working with sharp tools, we find that just a solid sturdy place is a little bit safer. But ultimately that will be up to you. So we always recommend a pillow under the client's neck and a raised workspace. So this is great, this foam pillow, because it is both. So this contoured area will ensure your client will be comfortable during these several hours we're gonna be doing the lashes. And then this area is where you'll keep your lash tile. As I was saying earlier, you can cover this with a towel for easier cleanup. So now you wanna have adequate lighting. So this is an adjustable setting. So you just wanna make sure that you are keeping it high when you're working, you wanna be able to see, and then turning it down during the times your client's eyes will be open. So keep that down. Another thing we recommend keeping in the room is a barbicide tray. So right when you're done using them, you can pop them in and start that sanitation process and then have your sanitized pair ready to go so you're never waiting for your tools to be cleaned. It's good to have a trash can in your room too so that will eliminate you know, trash when your client opens their eyes and having a cover on that is really important and it's actually required by most state boards. Seating is a personal choice, whether you choose a flat stool, a saddle stool, or any other type of seating. The main thing you wanna look for is that it's height adjustable so that you can adjust the bed depending on um, the different types of clients that you have come in your treatment room.